Um, I wanted to make a quick response video to a video that the, a post that the Washington a post, an article that the Washington Times published. Um, apparently, Time Magazine has voted uh, the picture of the year to be a picture of a child separated at the border. And the Washington Times is reporting that the father of this child later uh, disclosed that they weren't actually separated. Um, and I want to talk about this because I think that this particular kind of reporting um, kind of rubs me the wrong way. And uh, because I think of it as like journalistic grammar correction. It's, uh, it's not really substantively useful in a dialogue. Like if, you're, if you're talking to somebody and they use the wrong word, um, and then you call them out on it because you're being grammar police. What you're what you're doing is you're not listening to the larger point that that, that person is making because you're nitpicking details that don't actually matter. Um, what do I mean by that? So, uh, the fact that this particular picture might not be as accurate as people think says nothing about the larger moral reality that it's atrocious to separate parents at the uh, from from their children. At the border um and i don't think that the washington times like uh actually is gonna say oh it's fine it's family separation is fine it's morally okay um but what they're gonna say is oh look uh this picture is wrong and they kind of like imply that 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 has some kind of moral bearing on the larger situation and the reason I wasn't, I wasn't gonna make a video about this, but I actually ran into a similar situation. I got into an argument with someone recently uh, about uh, hands up, don't shoot. Um, and people are saying like, hands up, don't shoot is a, is a lie. It's a lie. Um, because apparently um, there's some reporting that, uh, I'm gonna keep turning around because there's people everywhere. Um, apparently there's some reporting that, uh, Michael Brown maybe didn't have his hands up when he was shot. And so the rallying cry, hands up, don't shoot, is therefore like somehow wrong, as if that has some kind of moral bearing on the situation. It doesn't. Um, let me be clear, it, it doesn't. Uh, whether the, it's like grammar correction. It's like a little thing that doesn't matter. You're nitpicking and you're taking away from the larger point by, um, focusing on details that don't matter. Yes, we need to care about the integrity of the press, the press, and yes, we need to care about truth in this post-truth society. Um, but to raise the point, hands up, don't shoot, is a lie. Uh, and then to imply that that has some kind of bearing on the Black Lives Matter debate, it's just moral nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. Um, it'd be like, you know, somebody breaks into your house and steals your TV and you say that, uh, you know, a man who was about 25 broke into my house and stole my TV. And then later it comes out that he was 28. Who cares? Actually, who cares? It doesn't matter that he's 28 instead of 25. Your TV's still gone. <laughs> um, or if you want to put it into the language of the like moral atrocities that are happening in our time, it doesn't matter whether this particular family was separated at the border or not families are being separated at the borders and it's going to take years to reunite them and unhealable psychological damage is being done to humans under our watch um and we're just fine with it because we dehumanize them in the media and we think of them as, as criminals and um we have this anti-immigration rhetoric or in the case of black lives matter african-american men generally are being killed by the police eric garner tamir rice um or not the police in the case of trayvon martin um just by a regular old racist white guy uh, and people are not being held accountable for this uh, whether the person's 25 or 28 steals your TV it doesn't matter whether Michael Brown had his hands up um, matters to the individual case but it doesn't matter to the larger trend and I just needed to say that because this kind of um, grammar correcting reasoning is just popping up over and over again and it's driving me insane okay talk to you later